Hello again, Hakim here with Tech of Experts. Um, in my previous video, I promised that I will uh, do um, a demonstration of the exterior takeoffs for a high-rise building and thereafter uh, interior takeoffs. So this demonstration is for the exterior painting for a high-rise building, which is very similar to a certain uh, building we had done in Greater Vancouver for one of the painting contractors over here. So let's get started. Okay, so what you see here on the screen is a high-rise building. And there are two high-rise buildings which are identical for the sake of this demonstration. We did this sketch of video so that you could follow along a bit easily rather than showing you, you know, just black and white drawings. So here is a 3D rendition. And I'm going to start explaining to you the scope of the of the project and what we measure first and so on so you see on the first the first four levels are the podium levels and then there's a fifth level which uh, starts get, getting to look more like apartment buildings and then from the sixth to the 28th they are actually very identical floors in this case we would measure the sixth floor and then we would multiply it by 23 because the 23 floors are are very identical so you see doing takeoffs for a big building like this doesn't necessarily take a whole week to do because there's a lot of uh, techniques we can use to make the work a bit shorter and more efficient because all these floors that you see on the screen are identical so we don't need to measure anything twice here but of course we have to be very careful that we measure the sixth floor properly otherwise if we make an error if we made an error there it will be multiplied 23 times a little bit of an error you know one or two percent is okay it's it's acceptable but that's why we double check everything before we start multiplying the measurements for each floor as you will see in the spreadsheet that i'm going to show you here in a couple of minutes so you can see two colors here um, the yellow and the blue let's look at this a little bit in more detail here so the scope of the painting in this demonstration project is painting all the columns, the, the sides here, the corners of the building, which are shown in yellow color here. And then, you know, there's blue columns also. Now, although they look narrow, they are big enough, so we can measure them in square feet. You can see it's shown over here. Uh, it's supposed to get elastomeric coating. So we make a note of it that it's elastomeric coating. And then uh, this column here, which is in blue, is also elastomeric coating. It's just a different color. And then along with the blue columns, there's also these side panels or eyebrows, as architects like to call them, which have to be painted along with the balconies. And here is the slab of the eyebrow, which is shown over here. You can see it, it's going to be receiving elastomeric paint. If you look at the balcony here, it's a little bit different. You see, uh, there's traffic coating and then there is elastomeric paint. So this area here is going to get traffic coating up to this point over here. You can see traffic coating means basically uh, epoxy paint. So we like to separate that. And to measure the area of this balcony, we just take the girth over here and then we multiply it by the width and then this width over here. And that's how we get the area of each balcony. And then we just multiply the balconies, the balconies that are similar, that is. And this, this area here is elastomeric coating, as you can see. So we separate, of course, elastomeric paint from this epoxy paint because the, the costs are different epoxy is much much more expensive so, and it can't be done at the same time so you will see it um, separated in the spreadsheet so again um, to reiterate we are measuring all these exterior areas here that are shown um, this is the 3d sketchup but of course we will be measuring it on the blueprints not from the 3d sketchup this is this sketchup is something that we made ourselves just to help you visualize 
and then we list all these items over here in the description column all the items are separate you know the elastomeric items are separate from all the uh, traffic coating paint so that's shown over here and then uh, the various floors are shown here in these columns from column F onwards you can see it's one floor each for the amenities the bottom floors and then all the way to the fifth floor it's one floor each and then from the sixth floor to the 28th floor you can see in column O it shows 23 so it's 23 floors um, each having the same exterior measurement because they are identical like I showed you in the SketchUp and then we take all of these measurements over here all of these ones um, we put them in column D of course with a formula it's a very simple formula basically just uh, totaling up everything for all these floors and then these amounts from the column go into the tab and this is where you come in this is where you put your pricing per square foot according to your market and according to your set rates for all these items here in uh, column E so you would be putting let's say two dollars and 25 cents for your elastomeric paint uh, for the underside of the balcony again two dollars and 25 for last elastomeric paint and so on and all the totals would get automatically transferred to the bottom using the formula that you have set this way you can come up with a, with a budget for this uh, for this project now the the good thing about us putting the formulas there for you is that let's say you submit your bid to the GC and uh, the GC gets back to you and tells you depending on the kind of relationship you have with the GC it tells you you know I got your bid it's 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 pretty good but um, how much uh, can you separate uh, some of the items for example can you give us a separate uh, price for the parkhead the underground parkhead for the building well it's very easy you can just go back to the spreadsheet and look at the cost per square foot that you've given or you can look at the cost for the parkhead and you can just separate it from your bid or if the GC tells you you know I want all the parkhead to be done by a separate contractor who does mostly epoxy work so you know the all the parking lines and the, all the coatings on the on the parquet floors and so on then you can easily take that out of your bid by taking it out of your spreadsheet and give him the pricing just for all the other the rest of the painting and so on so having a spreadsheet like that with all the separate breakdowns is very useful Another reason it's useful to have all these um, breakdowns in the spreadsheet is sometimes you submit a bid to the GC before the deadline and the GC calls you back, the senior estimator that is, they call you back and they tell you, you know, your price is a little bit higher. Uh, we weren't expecting such a high price. Can you look at your numbers again and see if you can adjust because your cost for, let's say again, the parquet is much higher than or, than what we got from another guy or you can say that your overall cost is a little bit high uh, we weren't expecting it to be this size high well you can go back to your spreadsheet if you can afford it you can change some of the pricing so let's say you know you put two dollars and 25 for the elastomeric paint um, if you can afford to do it for a little bit less based on what your costing is you could say okay i'll change it to two dollars and let's say 10 cents two dollars 10 instead of 225 and i can still make some money even if i subcontract it subcontract this section to another company well you can you can adjust it and you immediately have a new total at the bottom of the spreadsheet so that's why we like to break down everything separately so that you can manipulate i wonder if that's the right word but you can manipulate your spreadsheet um, the pricing to come to a budget which is uh, within the budget parameters that the GC may give you depending again on your relationship with the GC so if you're bidding for this GC a lot or even if you have just started bidding for this GC you can always follow up and say hey you know we submitted a quote to you what do you think of our numbers what do you think of our total bid 
they can give you some feedback right and then you can you may or may not want to change your um, your pricing depending on your budgets so i like to keep my videos within 10 minutes uh, this video has exceeded 10 minutes a bit so i'm going to stop here so the next uh, interior painting demonstration i do for this high-rise building is going to be in a couple of weeks so if you don't want to miss it just click on the subscribe button so that as soon as the video comes out you will be able to see it and you can view it and then you have some continuity my name is Hakim with Tech of Experts and we'll see you in my next video